，你我啊，我还没买房子呢，我租房子，在三十九栋租房子。哎，他我听他说你，你的孩子还在屋头里吧？我孩子。我孩子在我国家，在亚美家，你知道吗？我听到你，你拿一袋拿个罐子，哦哦哦，他说中国他说的很。哎，谢谢你哈，慢走慢走。我过来 my side， welcome back to Kem's Corner。I'm just having a stroll today. Today is the 5th of September 2022 in China. I don't know what time you guys are gonna be watching this, but just for timestamp, date stamp, you know, reference. School resumed today. Uh, but they resumed it online because there are some cases of COVID that had broken out in my province, Chongqing. So they reverted to online classes. But then I selected some course from June at the end of the last semester. And then all of a sudden they're going to tell me that they can't find the courses that I selected. So. I can't get to do the online classes. I don't even know when, when those, those classes would have been anyways because I can't find it on the system and they can't find it on the system as well to upload it to whatever. So it's, it, it, it's just crazy and, 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 and I'm already having one of the shittiest week of my life, but I can't get into that. Yeah, so I actually, got some good news amidst all of these foolishness that's taking place got some good news yesterday recently I was a part of a film competition uh, my school selected just about 12 of us 12 of us foreign students to participate in something that is called Kanjongo Chongqing Xin which is translated to uh, look at China travel Chongqing so we were able to go to just about 12 districts within this this province Chongqing my district was Bishan and when I went there it was just an amazing time as a result of that um, the film was entered into the Vancouver Chinese Film Festival and it got best documentary edited so I mean all the shit that I've been dealing with this week um, well, last week, this week, whatever way. That was just mind-blowing news because I initially thought that we were only going to get a certificate of participation. Turns out that my film won Best Documentary Editing and I'm just, you know, over the moon that I can fly all the way from Jamaica to, you know, this strange land in the East and my name is out there, my country's name is out there in a positive way and I'm, I'm just happy that I can contribute, you know, that way to my country and to my personal development because this is, this is great news. So I'm gonna throw up some of the, you know, some, some snippets of the documentary itself and that should do it, right? So enjoy and I'll see you guys some other time. Hello everyone, my name is Kamar Brown, I'm from Jamaica. We went to Bishan, Baton Town, to shoot the steel forest. A steel is a manure stone that serves as a memorial or marker. In ancient China, steels were often erected in palaces, mausoleums, or temples, organized by dignitaries with the intention to last for a lifetime and have a long history. There is a monument forest in Qingyun Mountain in Batang Town, Bishan District, Chongqing. Standing along the highway and the mountain spring called a bowl of water. The builder of the monument forest is a 91-year-old man named Xin Shiyi. He has been engaged in education for 40 years and everyone kindly calls him Mr. Singh. 
After retirement, he has been erecting monuments on the mountain since 1995. He, my first impression of him was like, what is this old man doing taking care of this forest? And then when I saw number one, his passion, when I saw his, his drive, his zeal, the knowledge that exudes from him about the, the steel forest, I'm like, okay, this is exactly why we are here. We are here to learn from this uh, old gentleman because he has a lot to deposit in terms of history and culture. And I'm just really hoping that uh, the young people in and around Barton John will actually sit by his feet and learn from him. Sing Si Ying is simply fascinating. <laughs> 